Chapter 5 Odette's New Voice The wizard entered Odile's room with Odette. Odette was the same age and height as Odile, but she had dark hair. However, she wasn't as beautiful as Odile, and this made her very jealous. The wizard spoke first. Sit down, Odile. I would like to ask you something. The wizard waved his hand, and a large and very comfortable pink chair appeared. Odile sat on it. Odette tells me that you would like to go to the ball tonight. Is that true? Yes. If I let you go to this ball, will you promise to marry me? I have told you, I will only marry a man who loves me and who I love. But you know I love you. If you loved me, you wouldn't keep me locked up in this castle. You wouldn't have killed my parents. You are a fool. Would you like to marry the prince? Is that it? He loves me more than you do. <laughs> How do you know? He left you here with me. That shows you that you're wrong. He's afraid of me. He can't love you very much if he's afraid. He did it for me. I asked him to do it. And did you tell him that you would go to the ball? Yes. Then you lied. You knew I would not let you go. I said I would try. He knows that if I do not go, it is not because I do not want to. And how does he know this? You do not have to cast a spell on someone or make them rich to love you. You understand it by looking in their eyes. You know it by the way they speak and act. You are a dreamer. And you have no heart. Silence. The wizard raised both his arms and the castle shook. The curtain on the wall fell down. And the wizard saw the bird in the cage. Ah, the bird. If you hurt that bird, you're worse than I thought. The bird flew wildly as the wizard walked towards it. He picked up the cage. Now, why would I hurt this bird? It is like me. It has no heart. It does not feel anything when I do this. The wizard pointed his fingers at Odette. She changed into Odile. She had the same blonde hair, the same eyes. She was even wearing a crown. Odile stood up. Tonight, a debt will go to the ball as you, Odile. Siegfried will marry her and we will see what true love is. Your hearts are nothing compared to my magic. You may look like me, Odette, but there is something missing from your eyes. The prince will know this. He does not love you, Odile. He only loves what you look like. I almost forgot. The wizard waved his hand. Odette, say something. When Odette spoke, she sounded just like Odile. Hello, Prince Siegfried. It's me, Odile. I love you. Odile ran to her bed, crying. <laughs> she fell on the bed and covered her face. Rockford laughed <laughs> loudly. He took Odette out of the room and locked the door behind him. When Odile looked up, only the bird was with her. It too had a tear in its eye. Chapter Six: The Ball. The ballroom in the palace was very big. There were hundreds of men and women in the center. Along the walls, there were long white tables. They had candles and all kinds of food on them. At the top of the room, on a stage, were three large chairs. The queen sat in the middle, and Siegfried sat on her right. The chair on the left was empty. It was for the princess, who would be Siegfried's wife. Which princess do you like the best? The one I will choose is not here yet. But you have met them all, surely. There is another one, mother, and she is a surprise. You will see. 
Every time a new guest arrived, the ballroom doors were opened, and everyone fell silent. A servant called out the guests' names as they entered. Each time this happened, the prince became very excited. But Odile never arrived. It was almost twelve o'clock. Siegfried had promised his mother that he would choose a bride by midnight. The two large doors opened. Please let it be her. It was a giant cake with eighteen candles on it. Everyone in the room began to sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Siegfried and his mother walked towards the enormous cake. Now, make a wish and blow out all the candles. No one heard him, but Siegfried said, I wish Odile would come and be my wife. He blew out the candles, and everyone cheered. The doors opened. Princess Odile. It was Odette, dressed as Odile. She wore a long white dress and long white gloves. The gold crown was shining on her head. She held a bouquet of flowers in her arms. She smiled as she walked towards the queen and prince. She gave the queen the flowers, then bowed. Mother, this is Odile, the princess I met in the forest. I knew your father. I am sorry. I thought everyone had died in the fire. You must be the only one who lived. Odette did not know what the wizard had done to Odile's parents. She stopped smiling. Oh, mother, her story is too sad to tell. Let us enjoy this evening together. We are her family now. Do you mean you wish to choose Princess Odile as your wife? Yes, mother, I do. The queen raised her hand for the men to sound their horns. Everyone was quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce the engagement of my son, Prince Siegfried. After tonight, he will be the king of this land, and he has chosen Princess Odile to be his wife. Siegfried and Odette danced together. Everyone around them clapped their hands. Odile, I knew you would come. How did you escape from the evil wizard? I... I ran away. And he did not see you? The prince stepped back so he could look at Odette's eyes. His heart sank when he saw those eyes. They looked like Odile's, but there was something missing in them. He didn't love her. Odette began to lie about her escape from Rockford. I saw a falling star in the sky. I closed my eyes and made a wish. When I opened them, I was in a carriage pulled by horses. That's how I got here. It must mean we were meant to be together. Oh, Siegfried, tell me you will love me forever. He held her close because he did not want to look in her eyes. He knew he had loved Odile when he had first seen her. Now he didn't know. He thought there must be something wrong with him. Odile, I promise always to love you and never leave you. 